right, so first up is a baby girl. She's about five days old. Uh, we're in luck because her general region is a lighter color, so it makes it easier to show, to tell. But as you can see, uh, she's very Y-shaped. If we, oh, she doesn't like this, so just bear with me. If we separate slightly, you can actually see there's a fleshy side of it, or fleshy inside, rather. Um, go ahead and try one of the other ones. This is her sister. Uh, she's a little bit smaller, but again, about five days old. And we are also in luck because she is a lighter color. Let's see if I can get her to show up. No. Oh, she's kicking. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Again, as you can see, it is Y-shaped. It's also fleshy in the center. Uh, top reminds me a little bit of like bullhorns. Um, she has a urethral tip instead of a foreskin, which is about the center of the tip right there of my fingernail. Next up, we have one of her brothers. He also has a lighter area, which makes this uh, easier to tell. But as you can see, he is kicking. Come on, guy. Bear with me. All right. As you can see, it is more donut shaped. Um, if you were to, if you separate, it stays donut shaped. It doesn't turn into a Y. There's nothing fleshy in the center. And instead of a urethral tip, he has a little button right there, which is his foreskin. Uh, their penis actually remains retracted up into the belly area. Um, sometimes you can feel the ridge uh, when they get a little bit bigger. I can't really tell on him. But as far as being donut shaped, that's a easy way to tell. I mean, there's no no mistaking if, uh, if you were to separate this, you're not going to see any kind of a vaginal vent or anything in there. It's just a little circular opening. Here is a guy I've got. He is, I believe, about two and a half months old. Um, try, he's going to kick. As you can see, it's round. Uh, He's got a much more pronounced foreskin in the center, but the uh, circular area remains the same. Uh, he kicks a lot, so I'm not going to try separating him. And we're going to try one of the adults. Oh, she's not going to like it. I know. You're okay. You're okay. I know. You're okay. It'll be over real quick. Don't worry. Okay. As you can see, uh, this is uh, an older female I have. She's about a year old. Um, it's Y-shaped. And if you separate, you can actually see there's an opening. And she was in heat a couple days ago, I believe. So she hasn't quite sealed. But as you can see, it is still somewhat Y-shaped. It's not round. And if you pull it back just a little bit, you can kind of see a little bit of the uh, vaginal vent. She's already kind of upset, so I'm not going to push it. But as you can see, it's not that difficult to uh, sex a guinea pig, whether adult or baby. Uh, you just got to know what you're looking for.